No. I want, I am a wiener. I win as a wall. I win. I win. I'm a wiener. Yeah, wiener win. Yeah. Hello, this is Elijah Wells, and this is the Gun Globe winners. Well, a lot, a lot of people wore black due to the hashtag me too scandal that happened and the sexual harassment took place in Hollywood. And of course, over Wingfield winning the honorary prize. But of course, I think this is now the officially the uh, first awards uh, that pretty much sets in motion of what's come with the BAFTAs and the Oscars, but not the Razzies. But cut the rubbish and let's get going! Best picture and drama goes to three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, where a lady who avenges her dead daughter by annoying the police officers by placing three billboards outside a small town in Missouri, just criticizing their progress. Nailed it. For best picture and comedy and musical, it's Lady Bird. I haven't seen the trailer that much, to be honest, compared to the other films. I believe it's a coming of age movie starring Shisha Ronin. Ding! Best, best actor in drama, Gary Oldman in Darkest Hour, where he plays Winston Churchill, the British Prime Minister of World War II. Which I sound, I guess he sounds like uh, Boris Johnson, but more, more this. Best actress in drama is Frances McDonald for Three Billboards Outside of Missouri. I think it's like 20 years ago since Fargo came out where she won the Oscar for it when she played a pregnant mother doing uh, doing police work in, in Minnesota filled a crime. Now she's a, a grieving mother just taking on the police in a state of Missouri. Ain't, ain't that ironic? Okay, need to flip the script. And best actor in comedy musical is James Franco in Disaster Artist. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Jab, 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 jab. Yeah, I wonder what James Tommy Wiseau must be thinking right now. Like, I've done something right. Make a bad movie. Make a movie based on that bad movie. That person wins Golden Globe. But anyways, how is your sex life? <laughs> Yep, and also for Best Actress in Comedy Musical, it's like she's a Ronin in Lady Bird. After, uh, 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 this could be a third Oscar nomination under, after Atonement and uh, Brooklyn. And Best Supporting Actor is Sam Rockwell in Three Billboards Outside in Missouri, which is uh, the police officer that really, really doesn't need more problems. Just please. I have enough problems of putting billboards outside our town, please, you're adding more. And best supporting actress is Alicia Janning for I, Tonya, where she plays her verbally and aggressively abusive mother of Tanya Harding. Just watch the R-rated trailer, she's just a, a mother from hell. We thought Precious was a bit off-guarded, just look at her parody. I did swear you. And just kicking her and attempting to throw knives at her. No wonder Tiny Harding got a bit violent with her opponents. Don't tell. Best animated feature is Coco. Although the movie Coco in Britain has a, it's good, only, only, only coming out in like a week's time. And that I need to check it out pretty much sooner rather than uh, later. And of course it's coming out the same day as uh, The Post. Which is by Steven Spielberg. Which is kind of colliding my schedule a bit. Best director is Guillermo del Toro in Shape of Water. I think this is shaping up, uh, no pun intended, to be Guillermo del Toro's uh, be better films like Pants Labyrinth, which of course landed in three Oscars for Best Cinematography, Best Makeup and Best Art Direction, uh, which I remember from the 2006 Oscars, where the, it was dubbed the Three Amigo Oscars since Orlando Giannirito did Babel and of course Kron did Children of Men were one of my favourite films. And he beat in uh, Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk and released Scott's All the Money World, which I just saw today. And Steven Spielberg's The Post. Best screenplay is Mark and or Mark and for three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. 
He directed Seven Psychopaths and uh, Yves Rouge, which uh, the latter, my dad found it a bit rude. Yet he, I think he'd been to uh, Bruges in Belgium just as a getaway uh, weekend. And best score goes to Alexandre Dersplat, Shape of Water. I'm a love the shape of water. Last night you were in my room. I'm a love the body. I'm a love the shape of water. <laughs> sure, I just had to crack it out. Best original song is Distance Me Oh from the Greatest Showman. This song is brilliant. Some say the song is better than a movie. I'm not scared. Is this all what me? This is me. Oh, 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 oh. And the biggest surprise, uh, personally for me, is best foreign film goes to In the Fade from from Germany. I my, all my bets, all of my bets, either came. Uh, I was hoping either First He Killed My Father by from Cambodia, directed by Jean Angeli Jolie, which I uh, really thought would win since it takes place in the Cambodian genocide, or The Square from Sweden, which won the uh, Palme d'Or, the top prize from Cannes Film Festival. I honestly thought these two were going to win, but it was actually In the Fade, a, a film from Germany. And there you have it, this is the Golden Globes, and bye!